Y'all got a banger from Shoe on Head. Let's get straight into it. Thanks to various social and economic factors and the rich evil pedophile clowns that run our gay retarded government, the American dream of owning a house and having a wife and two kids is dying. It and is. the Zoomer Coomer fantasy of a rich older girlfriend taking charge and making you chicken nuggies while you play video games in your pajamas nice. all day is thriving. Back in my day, we called this cougar hunting. Or, you know, mommy. Or, yeah, or, or milf hunting. Issues. But the kids today are calling it something different. Hag maxing. Hag maxing. Have you guys heard of this? This is a new term for me. The cougar epidemic. Hag max. In my last video, I jokingly referenced the term hag maxing. You've been on a date with a 40 year old. Okay, that's different. I was. How is that different? He's right. It's different. You're robbing the cradle. He's hag maxing. Educate yourself. Which greatly intrigued a lot of you. So I decided, you know what? I am going to make an entire video dedicated to covering this phenomenon. Gen Z men going out of their way to date older women. What is this? I mean, Why it's a win-win. She can pay for everything. Like like she said, get the get the dino nuggies. <laughs> Let you play the Xbox. Do you want your feet wrapped, baby? I mean, hey, it doesn't sound like a bad bet. Is this happening? Is this happening? No, and isn't it like Madonna already doing this? happening, is it a good thing, or is it a symptom of broader societal issues? Why are all these young whippersnappers scooping up these older timepieces? Oh, um, speaking of timepieces, let's quickly get into today's sponsor, Holzgern. Holzgern is a young Austrian company that creates you- Now, let's get back to it. What's up with Gen Z slang, dude? Looks maxing, hag maxing, riz, sus. Back in my day, we had our epic bacon and raffle copters, and we were happy. Now, when I think of the term hag, I usually think of an evil, cackling witch. Yeah, but no, apparently now it means women above 30. <laughs> really? You guys. That's a hag? <laughs> a hag to me has a negative connotation, not a positive one at all. I'm so tired of comments that are like, I used to watch you when I was in third grade and now I'm graduating college. <laughs> Good for you. Awesome. Congratulations. My knees hurt when I get up off the floor. Now, this term hag maxing went viral a few months ago with this screenshot. Meet the hag maxers. Gen Z's new social trend of dating older I'm gonna women. I'm my kid, Max. <laughs> This is, uh, this is my son, Max. He's a hag maxer. A very strange phenomenon is making its rounds on social media. Gen Z men are ditching casual sex with their women to pursue long-term relationships with financially stable and experienced millennial ladies. The boom now, even though this article doesn't actually exist, it was a meme created on 4chan, because of course it was, but the meme did spark a massive conversation and debate about hag maxing. And people had a lot of strong opinions about it. Motherless behavior. This is just mommy issues rebrand. Another day, another psyop. It's not hag maxing, it's milf hunting, and it's an art. Yeah, see, I, I, Please remember, don't... I remember milf hunters. My boy, man. Hey, yeah, shout out to uh, any of you guys remember milf hunters? <laughs> That's horrible, but I do. <laughs> Misappropriate my fetishes. Giving the dumbest name known to humankind to having a mommy kink. I mean, to be honest, I'm 16, waiting for a 20 to 25 year old to pick me up, lol. Okay, officer. I'm gonna throw up. I would love to have a 40 year old sugar mama who buys me gifts and pays my bills. Drizzle, drizzle. Bro, yeah. Young hard dicks and the older women who enjoy them. This isn't new. Hagmax bandwagoners are so cringe. I've been hagmaxing since second grade in Miss Johnson's class. <laughs> Uh... Y'all wanna hear a crazy story though, bro? No cap. So my second grade teacher was a student teacher. If you don't know what a student teacher is, basically you student teach before you actually become a teacher. My, st my second grade student teacher then became my sixth grade language arts teacher, teacher and then my seventh grade English teacher. This seventh grade teacher, bro, it, w it was one of those things you see on the news. Nobody bucked her, but like she would let us like touch on her, zip down the back of her skirt. Like it, it went, it went crazy. It was all in the news. I had to sit down with like the superintendent. Of course, I was a kid. I was like 13 at the time. So I was viewed as the victim, even though she didn't do anything to me. She just allowed us to touch her. But like, bro, it's crazy. Do you know anybody that's happened to or anything like that? Like, but bro, that's that happened to me when I was a kid. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so crazy. But then she got fired and went to prison. So it was kind of like, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh. I am going to 
tackle every last Gen Z and Gen Alpha kid on this planet, including myself. I want to be a Hagmaxer, lol, any female taker, XD. I like thick MILFs and I cannot lie. <laughs> oh nice, it must be socially acceptable for 37 year old men to date 20 year old women again. Whoa, 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 let's uh, yeah. let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ah, I f***ing love adult women. <laughs> women over 32 should be illegal. <laughs> now, according to the very astute, always reliable source, knowyourmeme.com, the term hag maxing is very popular in the VTuber community. Now, I don't have much interest in the VTuber community, um, but they seem to have a lot of interest in me. A lot of interest. Should I do a video reacting to VTubers reacting to me one day? That might be fun. Let me know if I should do that. Although it seems to be a meme amongst the VTubers and the weebs, it is apparently a thing happening in real life. Rise of the boy toy. Why older women are dating Gen Z men at record rate. One woman stated, well, I think women a lot of these younger guys know that it's a smoosh and a push type of situation. It's a smash and pass. They're not looking to actually date these women. They're just recreational use, you know? And my age seems to be excited by the freshness and lack of bitterness that comes with dating someone younger. Younger men seem more open and less burdened by insecurities. Yeah, they're looking okay, to I have men. a feeling I'm going to be saying this like a hundred times in this video, but could you imagine an article like this? with the genders reversed. I love dating these young, fresh boys. They're less bitter. They have less baggage. They're not ran through. People would just be calling- <laughs> She's a runner, she's a track star. Uh, they'd be up in arms, bro. But that's why guys like Leonardo DiCaprio are winning right now. What is it, Al Pacino? Didn't he just have a kid and he's like 98 years old? Playing at red pill incel shit. Age gap relationships between millennial women and Gen Z men are on the rise. Our analysis of age hypogamy reveals the pragmatic underpinning of these relationships. It sometimes comes down to who's available. Many older men prefer to date younger women. The same is true for a lot of older women, with millennial and Gen Z men emerging as appealing dating options. For their part, many Gen Z men might have few opportunities to date women their own age, or prefer to date older women for various reasons. Enter millennial women. And I'm proud to be a millennial. Bro, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> what in the H E double hockey sticks is that, bro? My side part and skinny jeans. If you're an older millennial woman, you might be attracted to younger men for their energy, inclusive views about sex and gender, and superior care and literacy about their partner's emotional well-being. Bro, and younger guys just want to get it in. They just want to buck something. And if these older ladies already got a lot of mileage, they're like, cool, it's easy. It's easy money. Anyways, Gen Z men see millennial women as an opportunity to level up emotionally and socially. With their evolved- Bro, let me know in the comments right now. Chat, let me know. If you, when you were a young buck, maybe 18 to 22 or 18 to 24. If you had an older woman that was I, she was willing to you know, pay you some money on the side, let you slam her piece, would you have done it? Personally, I probably would have. I was in college, I was broke, and if there was an older lady that just needed some pen, I, I probably would have came through and, and did her a service, you know? If she would have asked real, she, she would have had to ask real nicely though. <laughs> she would have had to ask real nicely. Involved attitudes about everything from non-monogamy and gender fluidity to the anti-hustle soft life, Gen Z men may be the most likely generation to overturn powerfully entrenched stereotypes about sex and relationships. The kind featured by podcast bros. I love how millennial women have just psyoped themselves into believing a man who thinks f***ing a whole bunch of different women at the same time with no romantic commitment is an evolved way of looking at relationships. Like, yes, queen, that zoomer you're banging is so open-minded and progressive. He's not like those podcast bros. <laughs> I swear <laughs> modern the cheeks, bro. Come on. <laughs> feminism is like the greatest trick men have played on women. Like just a bunch of dudes got in a room one day and were like, hear me out. We convinced them that getting naked and sleeping around is empowering. Genius. Even Hollywood seems to be hopping on the hag maxing train. Why are so many older women dating younger men in recent rom-coms? I'm old enough to be your mother, sighs Anne Hathaway, as she passionately entwines with Amazon's new heartthrob, Nicholas Galazine, in The Idea of You. Oh, Anne Hathaway? I'm sorry, who wouldn't hag max with Anne Hathaway? Yeah, she's she's hot for her age. What a forward Whoa. young man you are! Mm -hmm. My goodness! This phenomena is a like groundbreaking shift, considering Hollywood's reputation for perpetuating the male gaze and old men's uncanny obsession with younger women. You know, I, I really don't care about this shit. 
but it is so funny how much of this equality stuff is just, okay, now it's women's turn to do the thing we said was bad. All the new strong female leads in movies that are just kind of assholes, the celebrating of billionaire female CEOs. Like, did you actually want change? Or was it really all just penis envy? Older women partnering with younger men. Why do some people have Bro, a chat, Let me know, would you... Would you date her or marry a chick that's older than you? Personally, I, I want a woman younger than me. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I couldn't do the older thing. Problem with that? Perhaps celebrities will help ease the stigma. The French president's wife, Brigitte Macron, is almost 25 years older than her husband. They met when he was 15, and she was his high school teacher. Wait. What? That is not good. There should be. That's called grooming. A stigma against that. What? Maybe these high profile women will help shatter the stigma and normalize the benefits of widening our options when seeking- Something else is getting widened, <laughs> not just options. Romantic partnerships. After all, at every age, we deserve what our hearts desire. No, no, no. When you are a grown ass teacher and your heart desires an underage student, you do not in fact deserve that. No. What am I reading? I'm 37 and my boyfriend is 23. God. I make upper six figures and own a condo in New York City. At least three of my friends are also dating significantly younger men. One is 32 and has been dating a 19 year old for three years. I don't rely on men to be financially stable. I don't need my man to have a good job. We both know what we want out of this relationship and we're getting it. Right, you know, this is wild, but the thing is a lot of these NBA guys that I see, the chicks that they're dating and they're are like in their upper 30s. What is it? The Drea chick and this dude, I don't remember his name, but he's like 22. She's like 38. Honestly, good for this one. Wait, one is 32 dating a 19 year old for three. Oh, oh, Yeah, dating no. him for three years. That means he was 16 at the time. A little sus. Oh, we older women aren't men haters. We have a lot of love and make a man feel like a man. We are not drama queens. We can't get pregnant. <laughs> we are very sexy. Cap. I'm not like the other girls. I'm infertile. Yeah. Men dating older women is called hag maxing now. Why can't men just be normal? Why does everything have to be misogynistic? No, 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 no. It's not misogynistic. The term hag here is endearing. We're taking back the term hag. It's like when black people took back the n-word. There's something seriously disgusting about men taking advantage of women's loneliness for their resources. So when it's a younger man dating an older woman, the younger man is still the predatory one? What? You guys just cannot win. Really? This is so disgusting. 34 is not old. I am not a <laughs> hag. Okay, so we've heard from the hags. Now let's hear from the hag maxers. Why are these young men dating older women? I have mommy issues. Mm. Oh, well, there has to be other reasons, right? I have a granny fetish. Oh. Come on, th there's gotta be another reason. Because Gen Z women are worth going for. Oh. And I have mommy issues. Oh my God. Is it all just based on mommy issues? As a guy who's 22 dating a 36 year old, I think for the most part, older women are just a lot less drama and just more mature. Older the better. Most have a car, a house, financial stability, and time. These they men are, are looking for the things that usually women are looking for in a man. This is so weird to me. Mature and can teach you some valuable lessons, wisdom, and experience. I'm still 19 and for me, older women I flirt with at bars and clubs are much more receptive and flirty than Zoomer girls. I mean, I, I, I could see that. I could see Zoomer girls being a little more entitled. Honestly, it's partly because modern Western girls from 18 to 25 are like 80% hoes now. Brutal. A woman who is 30 today likely has fewer partners, sexual or other, than a woman who is five years younger than her. Mm. I, I don't know if I agree with that. I changed my Tinder age range from 20 to 25 to 30 to 39, and have been going on more dates than ever before with beautiful women who do not care that I don't make six figures at 22 years old. That's wild. It's either take care of a younger woman who we know is potentially a flight risk, or appreciate an older woman who has their own shit together. George W. Bush married an older woman to get that money. I don't think George W. Bush should be a role model for anything. For real. Easy, good sex, intellectual conversations, less games, more fun, and they treat you nicely. Nicely. They tend to be more grounded. Did I mention the sex part? Oh, and if it's post-menopause, even better. If girls can date older men, then why not younger men date older women? I'm 16 and I'm not attracted to anyone below 30 years old. I- What? Yes, the elusive reverse pe- 
file. Dating a woman with a career, property, experience, and bed and life. What's not to like? Young sluts want the money up front. Old sluts are just happy to get some attention. Older women fed me, slept with me, and sent me on my way with snack packs. Legit amazing. It I sounds like these guys just want to get mommied. I'm 26 now, dating a 38-year-old after years of trying with women my age and younger. They are all social media obsessed narcissists. I feel like they're hyping up millennial women too much here. Oh, they're not narcissists obsessed with social media. You guys weren't around during the MySpace days. Yeah, Have you ever met a Gen Z woman? Who would want to date them? They're me, 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 give me, 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 take care of me. Man, if the ones my age ain't loyal, might as well. They're basically like a grandma caring for you and wow, taking care of you. Work. Oh my god. Nothing like a no denture adventure. You people are sick. No, I don't. <laughs> I've never heard that. All right, Loki, does somebody want to fish? You want to fish? Uh, today we have a Kaplan fish for Lokes. Come on, focus. There we go. These things smell like Shrek's dick. They smell really bad. Oh, they smell so horrible. But he absolutely loves them. Let's do a two for one. Look at him licking his lips. Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. God, eat it. Ah, oh, now it's all in my hands. Mmm. I'm gonna have him lick my fingers. Go to your place. <laughs> they smell so bad, dude. They smell so bad. I'm just gonna wipe it on that and let's get back to it. Now my room smells like um, Fiona's snatch. It smells terrible in here. I believe this is happening more than ever just because Gen Z men like easy sex or gifts. Or that Gen Z women are too obsessed with drama or social media. No, I think there's more to it and I have a few theories. So as we talked about before in other videos, a lot of men are dropping out of college. The issue is a lot of young college- well, the video we did the other day, there's like 10 million men from the ages of 25 to 55 that aren't pursuing any type of career or education. So this checks out. Educated women want college educated men. See, Stacy is looking for someone college educated who's making more than her. But not that many young men are on that level yet. Thanks. Older men are, but not many around Stacy's age. Mm -hmm. But you know who doesn't care? Karen. Karen doesn't care about your lack of college degree. Karen wants to pick you up in her 2013 Toyota minivan and bang you in the back seat, then take you to Olive Garden. No strings attached, unlimited breadsticks. For basically all of human history, the most prevalent age gap was older men and younger women. Mm -hmm. But why? Well, it's because men are all disgusting creeps who should be thrown into work camps and castrated and forced to make us pumpkin spice lattes. But also it's because younger women are more fertile and the whole point of relationships is to make babies Facts. or at least it used to be well at least in our lizard brains well, uh, that's typically they're usually more fit feminine friendly cooperative submissive and have no children and usually a younger woman will get on a man's page a whole lot easier the whole point i don't know what the point of modern relationships are anymore i just learned recently that people purposely get into short-term relationships which is bizarre to me like what's the point as well situationships as buck fuddies come on now everybody's done it a situationships and polycules. The world is very confusing. It turns out people are different than me. Now let's be real, hagmaxing simply does not make any sense from a evolutionary biological standpoint. But it's 2024, we have surpassed the need for evolutionary biology. We could grow babies in pods and also kill ourselves in them. Our brains are full of plastic now. Men wanting to be with younger women made sense when babies were the goal, but Babies don't seem to be the goal anymore. For many older women who simply don't want to have them, and for many younger Gen Z men who think they can't afford them, or even worse, are scared that having kids will contribute to climate change. It's like every other week I see an article, fear-mongering Gen Z, don't have kids, it will increase the carbon emissions, what? blah blah blah, you have to save the planet, and first of all I gotta ask, who the fuck we save in the planet for if not future generations? Thanks. So if Gen Z does not want kids, if they think they can't afford kids, why does being with a fertile woman even matter? Might as well date an older woman. Might as well scramble those rotten eggs. Do you oh. like your eggs fried or fertilized? Editor, edit that out, edit that out. No.
But believe it or not, hag maxing is not really a new thing. It's been around for a really long time, hundreds of years even. In fact, there was a very famous hag maxer in American history who wrote an entire letter of why it's preferable to sleep with an older woman. And that hag maxer's name? Benjamin Franklin. I was about to no, say, I'm not ben kidding. Frankie. Benjamin Franklin literally wrote about the benefits of hag maxing. And what's funny is a Better lot of mistresses than younger ones. Lord have mercy. Of the reasons Benjamin Franklin gives are the same reasons a lot of the Zoomers who hag max give today. Because as they have more knowledge of the world and their minds are better stored with observations, their conversation is more improving and more lastingly agreeable. Because when women cease to be handsome, they study to be good. So I mean, there's, there's a point to that. When women realize that their looks have gone out the window, they focus on their personalities more. This is why usually the most beat chicks in high school and in college always had the best personalities because they realized they looked in the mirror and said, you know what? I don't really have the looks department cooking, so I might as well be fun to be around. Basically, she can't rely on her looks anymore and has to develop a personality. Yeah, exactly. Because there is no hazard of children, which irregularly produced may be attended with much inconvenience. Mm, there. Because through more experience, they are more prudent and discreet in conducting an intrigue to prevent suspicion. They're easier to cheat on your wife with. Lovely, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms, the lower parts continuing to the last, as plump as ever. Benjamin Franklin really just said, Hey, my man was saying plump as ever, knocking him back. Good on Benny. The ass is still fat. Incredible stuff from our founding fathers. I will literally never be able to look at a picture of this man the same again. This is no longer the guy Bruh, who- I almost bet he was he was eating the booty like some groceries. <laughs> ben Frankie was in there like swimwear. Discovered electricity. No, this is the great American hag maxer. So basically, some Gen Z guys have found a hack in the male loneliness epidemic by dating the women who are suffering from the female loneliness epidemic. Like the two unwanted ends of a bread loaf coming together to make a sandwich. The, the misfit toys of the modern dating market. The older women and the younger men. Beautiful. Two people who believe they are the leftovers of society. Two people using each other to temporarily numb the pain. Or maybe it's not that fucking deep and it's just a funny meme. To be yeah. honest, I don't think this is an epidemic like the internet makes it seem like it is. All the data basically says that women prefer to date men slightly older than them or around the same age as them. And men tend to date women younger than them or around the same age as them. Large age gaps, for the most part, are rare. In relationships where the man is older, he's usually only older by one to two years. That makes sense. In relationships yeah, I'm two the years older than Cass. Woman is older two to three years. In all Western countries, only 8% of couples have an age gap of 10 or more, and couples with a larger age gap have more of a chance of getting a divorce. Mm. But it is a rising trend to think about and keep an eye on. As the social landscape continues to change, so will gender dynamics, and I find that very interesting. But that's enough of my yapping. What do you guys think? What do you think of hag maxing? Have yeah, what do you guys think about hag maxing? Look, you want the rest of this fish? It smells like Fiona's undergrundle. Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Bro, that smells so bad. That smells like one of those hags from the hag maxing. <laughs> Jesus crap. I'm gonna have to wash my hands five times. Go to your place. Hey, go to your place. You don't get to just eat that right there. We have rules. You know you go to your place. He's getting ornery today. He's been spending way too much time with Cass. Snuggled up next to her. I had to like coax him to come in here. I'd be like, bro, you, you're my co-star. I got to get you in here. But yeah, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this hag maxing? What I think it is, is it's kind of to her point, shoe on head. Great video. It's the first time I've ever seen her channel. But I think it's both ends of the spectrum being the misfit toys and saying, you know what? We don't have anybody that's really going to reciprocate the same energy we want. So therefore, you're left out. I'm left out. Let's get together. The only problem with that is, is we're not going to see future generations of kids. There's not going to be any kids born. If these women have already hit menopause, high-risk pregnancy, you know, like geriatric pregnancy, you're not going to be able to get a baby from her. Yeah, you'll be a lot happier. But by the time she's 60, you're 40, she's going to look much older than you. So here's my prediction. I bet when they get to a certain age and these women start getting old enough, I bet these men dip and go for another chick. 
I would almost just bet it because these women are going to look like grandmas by the time you're like hitting your your stride. Like guys start to look better as they get older. We we men age like wine and women age like yogurt left out in the Texas heat. That's just how it is. So I don't know. There, I think there's going to be a disparity between when men do get to a certain age and then women get to a certain age where they're starting to look like grandmas and they're not looking as good as they used to. But who knows? Maybe these guys that like older women really like they have like a granny thing. Maybe it's like really into being mommied and stuff like that. Personally, I always wanted women younger than me. I wanted fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. I, I wanted no kids outside of me. Usually with older women, they're more combative. They're more entitled. They're harder to get on your page. They're more masculine. But maybe guys that don't have money, maybe this is a good fit for them because they don't have money. They don't have resources they can go go hang out with the hag go hang out with the hag maxer um go hang out with this older chick and then she can provide for everything like like she said go to red lobster get the cheddar biscuits and get your back blown out uh you know what i mean like that might be great for some guys low effort high reward she has her own money she can take care of you buys you things it sounds like a good bet if i was younger i probably would have entertained it but i, pro I don't think i've ever would have taken one of these women seriously but let me know like, chat, would you have ever done this on a recreational level? Or would you have taken it to the next step and, like, gotten into a relationship with a woman like this? Personally, I wouldn't have gotten into a relationship with a woman like this. I always knew that it'd be weird if I brought home an older woman. Like, if I was 25 and my girl was 35, I would be like, Why are you bringing home a woman that's 10 years older than you? What's up with that? I know it'd probably be very odd. So I always steered clear of it because I knew it was kind of weird. And also, I never really liked older women. The older women I talked to were very hard to deal with. But I guess when you're talking about an age gap between like maybe 19 to 22 of men, and then maybe 35 to 42 of women, maybe that age disparity is a lot different. And when I was a younger guy, I thought it was kind of cool to go bag an older chick. I remember the first time I did it, I was like, man, this is kind of neat. But the thing is, when we started hanging out and talking, we had absolutely nothing in common. She's bringing up all these movies from the 80s, and I was like, I was born in 90. I don't know nothing what you're talking about. Marty McFly, all this stuff, Back to the Future, Let's Cook, all cool. Like, I know that stuff, but then she started bringing up these old horror movies. I was like, what are we, what, what is this? I can't relate to you. And I feel like if I was going to try to be in a relationship with somebody older, you'd have to have them meet your friends, and it would just be weird. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anybody in my direct friend group that's hag maxing. <laughs> right now or dating any single moms single mom i say steer clear single moms and i don't know this hack maxing thing maybe this is a cool new trend but I, I'd, I'd really be interested to hear your your thoughts on this i know we have a lot of older gentlemen we have a lot of younger guys too but like when you were younger would you have you know maybe contributed to the hag maxing community we just called it milf, milf hunting when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, selling like absolute hotcakes. I'm going to work on a volume two for you guys. They give you a little bit more examples, applications, and the way you can use this in the real world. Um, so instead of just the information, you can see how to apply it. So I'm working on that now. But Loki, did you have a good time eating those fish that tasted like or maybe smelled like some of the hags? Smell good? <laughs> okay. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.